So with My Dad's a Birdman, the, the character, um, the dad in it, it's, it's, it's one of those role reversals. We've got a little girl called Lizzie, who is, is, is sort of like the, Lizzie is playing the, playing the almost um, parental figure. She's calling up for her dad to get ready, though it's normally the other way around. And she's, I think there's the, a the family bereavement that she's lost her mum, the dad has lost his wife, and he's going kind of bonkers in a, in a very sad and poignant way, but in also in, it's treated in a very light and funny way. So I think for me, this picture is, you know, sums up the sadness. He's got bare feet, he's got holes in his, his, his um, dressing gown, his hair is, hair is a mess, and it's sort of a depression, and that's not, that's not great by any, you know, that's not a funny thing. But this depression leads to him to um, do things like build himself wings and eat worms, which is very funny and makes it very palatable for young children. So it's a very clever juxtaposition of this serious emotional stuff that's going on treated in a very light and humorous way. So we can enjoy it at the same time we have an understanding of what's going on. There's nothing about it that hits you over the head. So for me, it was trying to capture that in the pictures um, that was the challenge. Um, and to do that, I had to do it very directly. The most important thing in the book for me was the relationship between the dad and the, and the little girl. And she, um, in a childlike way, she believes in him. She believes in him even though he's got this crackpot idea that he can fly over the tyne and he's, it's not going to work. There is that belief that I think is maybe what will make him better or what does make, you know, he doesn't get, or get better, but it's, you know, it's about love and compassion. This picture is maybe particularly poignant because he's made these wings and um, she's admiring them, you know, she's caring about them, she's understanding them, she's not, she's not poo-pooing them. Um, there was something about collaging his wings that made them maybe more magical, and they work. He did make them out of bits and bobs and feathers he found in the garden, and I somehow felt that collaging onto the picture would make them feel like they were maybe otherworldly. Here we have the dad with um, his wings in full glory, full collage glory, and Mr. Poop, which was a great character. Mr. Poop is, I think, almost... He's the frivolous character that is part, almost part of the imaginative slight madness that is in the dad's mind. And then there's the Auntie Doreen and, and Mr. Mint, who are the more authoritative figures who are trying to, you know, stop him from being mad. And Mr. Poop therefore needed to be really colourful. He's got a collage tie. He's, he's, he's sort of quirky and round. He's almost, he's a circus ringleader. He's, he's great. He's, um, he was great fun to work with. And again, I just, I just, you know, had a vision and I think it's like when you read a novel, you see what the characters are like in your own mind, don't you? And then you watch the film and you go, no, that's not what they look like. <laughs> and um, so I just drew them how they appeared to me. And throughout the story, that's really what I tried to capture. And I think once you've captured that, um, that each individual character has an emotion between them, all the rest of the stuff sort of takes care of itself. You don't have to worry about the backgrounds or illustrating every little bit of it. You've got the, you know, you've got the meaningful stuff. And for me, that's what the, you know, I think the kids relate to as well.